Hello, everyone. Welcome to Saturday. Happy Hi, Saturday. I hope you're all still how safe. How are your kids? And healthy. How are your husbands? And how are your wives? Safe and healthy mm -hmm. and sane right now. Oh We're all trying to stay sane. Everybody just take a deep breath. <laughs> Today, as you guys requested, well, as we offered and you guys said you wanted, we are going to be doing the haul of the things we picked up for our second closet. Yes. Normally, if consignment stores were open, some of this stuff is the type of stuff we would also bring there. They're all closed for the time being because y'all know why. Um, so we're gonna do a haul of the stuff we picked up for our second closet. That is linked below if you're interested in anything. We always have everything in that closet priced at $15 or three for 25. Very accurate. Everything. Accurate. Always. There we go. No other prices though, <laughs> unless you got like a bunch. Yeah. But we don't like take offers because we just sort of sell them no. for 15, three for 25. Um, I'm also just going to show you the like fun things that I picked up at the bins. It's fun to just look at the things. Yeah. Especially when there's like a bad change out and you don't find anything. You just, and especially when the world easy. outside is burning down. And you it's just want to literally <laughs> You just falling. want to have fun. Oh my God. Um, you just want to dissociate for a minute. <laughs> we also had an idea because we do have two parts left at least of the haul from the stuff that we picked up for ourselves to sell. And... We were wondering if you want to break oh, in that, definitely. and maybe next Tuesday we were thinking we could do a video called Who's Buying This Stuff? And we would just pick some brands. We profile people that <laughs> buy certain brands. And we would <laughs> explain the woman or person that we picture shopping at these stores. I know a lot of you, like, when we just kind of, like, get into it and we're like, oh, the woman at Eileen Fisher, she looks like this, she does this, this is her job, blah, blah, blah. And we know that some of you just want some comedic relief right you now. You know, I think that'd be a good idea. So I think maybe Just Tuesday, a good chuckle at no one's expense because just, none of these women are real. <laughs> just a for fun Tuesday video that just kind of relieves some of the stress and gives you some comedy. Mm -hmm. Let us know if you want that. But we will have hauls going up some days. Like I said, yeah. our video schedule may increase. So we have got a lot coming. So mm -hmm. be sure to subscribe. Okay, so the stuff that I picked up for fun... I found a Wii remote case. We didn't find the Wii or the remote. I found a Nintendo Wii remote case and I found a Wii wheel because I still play Mario Kart. <gasps> Wait, we can use that for Mario Kart? Yes. Okay, so I'm terrible at Mario Kart on the Wii. I'm used to playing it on the DS. So that'll, that's what I'll use. Um, oh, that'll be amazing. Another tip for when you're at the bins. Look at just like the random things because you can always find stuff to include as a gift with purchase. Mm -hmm. I found these heart sunglasses and they're you no know, brand. If somebody buys a little heart something or buys yeah. a sunglass case. If someone buy, buys something super summery, I can just include this as just like a bonus and like it costs me nothing. So I always keep my eye open for like gift with purchase or just fun stuff. Mm -hmm. Like we get scarves to wrap shoes in and stuff. Cut to me with my like bundle of scarves. <laughs> I got a lot. I found eight episodes of Spongebob and some stickers. Yes. Because I'm six. We love Spongebob, though. He's so fun. <laughs> um, I found three Ikea plants. What are these called? The fruit? They are called the Fedjka. Ooh, I need Jasmine from Lenny Day Fiance to read this for me. But, you know... Again, I have had my kick with, like, <laughs> plants lately. And now that we can't go outside for the spring, we have to bring the spring inside. Very accurate. I found this Target Sea Salt and Lavender brand new candle. I wish you all could smell it. It smells amazing. Oh, it smells so good. And again, this is all stuff being saved from the landfill too. Very true. I found, if y'all know what I can do with these, let me know. I probably am going to list them on eBay. I found eight brand new hard drives. One gigabyte hard drives. I don't know what that means. That's kind of cool, but I looked them up in this what model. They look like? They're twenty five like, bucks each at this? least, so I what found two hundred dollars like, worth of them. Like, what does somebody who knows how to use them do? With you, them? I know how to use them. I've built a computer, right? But like, what do you do? It speeds it up and stuff. Oh, okay. Um, I found a soap and glory <laughs> gift set, brand new, and I actually I used to work at Walgreens. Fun fact. And Soap and Glory has, is becoming, or will be, or maybe already is, an exclusive Target brand. And they have the most soft oh and like, God, nice amazing. body butter, butter, so. Okay, now we're gonna get into what you came for. Oh wait, and they got a brand new 8x10 frame. Everybody needs a picture frame. Like, why skip that at the bins? I know. So, we got all this stuff. I didn't get as much. This okay, is the type of stuff that we would bring to a consignment store. Or like a so, a tip about consignment store shopping. 
are like shopping at the bins for consignment stores. It is not really about the brands, hardly at all. I mean, you don't want to get Walmart usually, and you don't want to get like Morona and Massimo old Target, but it's more the styles. So like this is a like boho, really cute blouse that is not really any brand in particular. It's called Buy Together, which might be just TJ Maxx or some kind of boutique brand. I think it is. But it's so cute. Like if this is free people, I get like $80 for this. So you just kind of need to look at, think of the season and think of the style. Very accurate. And a good thing is to go into the consignment stores, see what kind of stuff they have on the shelves. Mm -hmm. And like what kind of styles they take. So this I'd maybe get for a consignment store if it were closer to winter. But we're gonna put this up in the second closet. It's just J. Crew. It's, it's really cute though. It's like merino wool. It's cute colors. It might be a little too like bleh for a consignment store to take. But yeah, and I don't think a lot of them take like I was said summer stuff. Take like fall, winter, rain. Well, no, they don't. They don't take, take like, out of season. Summer. So around winter, maybe I would. This is really cute. Again, it's Socialite, which is Nordstrom Rack, but it's not expensive. I think it retails about 50, 60. But like a little black romper. But it's a black romper. People a very good do it. style. <laughs> and yeah, I I know a consignment store would take this from me. Consignment stores love jumpsuits and rompers, kind of like we all do. Mm -hmm. This is a Banana Republic that is a newer label. That's another thing. You should try to learn the newer labels Look at of the things. dates. They don't want old garbage. Which is another video we've thought of doing is like new versus old labels of certain brands. Mm -hmm. um, but the Black Banana Republic label is a newer one. It's got little sunflowers all over it. It's pretty cute. And it's very summery. Yeah. So, and a lot of brands, if you look at the inside tags here. There's that little mini one that got a date on it. They have little mini tags and it has a date. Like this says it was 08 of 2018. So that should be a time frame that currently- They try to keep, from what I remember, they try to keep everything within two years. Yeah. So that's fine. Okay. This is a brand that I have no clue what it is. It's called Kokomo, but are you kidding me? It's so cute though. It's with the little so ruffle cute. sleeve. <gasps> it's probably just again like TJ Maxx Some or like something. Tiki brand. Oh. Or from a Plato's closet. From a Plato's closet. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was at a Plato's at one point. I did not notice that. Um, but yeah, I would take this to like a turnstile or style encore or like more mature yeah. consignment store. You wanna show some of yours? Yes. Okay, so I got this Forever 21 sweater. As we all know, Forever 21 will cease to exist very soon. At some point, hopefully. Um, and it's just like, everybody knows what Forever 21 label looks like. Oh, we've all seen like, these everywhere. Yeah. This and is it, like the most in style sweater. Singer? No, it's just the knit. Um, it's just kind of like a distressed, kind of like. Wild Fox did this. And Twitter. then every other brand did it. Oh, yeah. I definitely think this is a Wild Fox knockoff. You want to pay attention, 120%. again, to like the trends, mm -hmm. what styles are popular. Distressed sweaters last winter were like crazy popular. I've got this um, So, yeah, that's. Mm -hmm. um, I also pick up Cute Target. We get a lot of new text Target at our Goodwills, which means we get a lot at our bins. So, this is Wild Fable, extra large, and it's just this really cute pair of like little red summer shorts. And then be the cute. A lot of consignment stores will take Target if it's the newer labels, which are Who, What, Where. A New Day. A New Day, which Wild looks like. Table. A New Day is the one that's like letters going every way and it almost looks like it says and. Nobody something. know how to say it until like six months ago. Yeah. And then um, Wild Fable and that's probably the main ones. Those oh, days. Joy Lab is the new athletic line. Yeah. It's like a J and an L and it looks and feels like Lululemon, but it's not. And Wild Fable is oh, the one that Knox looks like. Oh, Knox Rose. Knox Rose makes really cute really ones. Cute. Uh, speak of the devil. <laughs> Knox Rose, large. And it's just this really cute kind of like... Again, florals for spring. Embroiders are always in. Um, this tide spring. is very like in style. This like kind of... Puffier slaves are in. I know. So I'll definitely be able to get 15 bucks. Yeah. This. Or three for 25. Um, This I just got because it's really cute. It's Morona, so, so it's older Target. This one, though, they but do take some, usually. This is so cute. It's a floral bomber. It's meant to kind of look like denim on the top because it's kind of like a darker blue. Something like this is never it's out of so style. Like, though. bombers are always in. No, they always and in. And florals are always in. in. This so, but this is Morona they don't have anymore. So, um, this is from four quarter four 2016. So this one's five years old. So this is probably one of the last years they had Morona. Yeah. Massimo. 
But so. that that's a very current style. Mm -hmm. Let's do a few more of mine. Okay. Um, jumpsuits, like I said. We love it. Always suit. in. This is like a faux linen because I really doubt it's real linen, but it feels yeah. like and looks like linen. It's cute, and it's though. this cute button style at the front, and at the back is almost like an overall look. Oh, kind love of an overall like that. Um, and this is also Wild Fable, newer Target. Um, jumpsuits, they probably take all season, or all, like, every season, but especially in the spring and summer, people love jumpsuits. Mm -hmm. I would never ever myself sell Old Navy. Some of these I would no. sell myself on my main posh, never Old Navy. It's just too cheap. But this is Old Navy, consignment stores love Old I Navy. I think because it's cute, but it's like never very expensive. Yeah, like, you no won't matter, get much no matter where for you get it from. Yeah. Because they know, obviously, how much it's worth. But on our second posh, we sometimes put it, I know some people do sell Old Navy themselves. I know plus, like cute plus size Old Navy can do pretty good. But Old Navy also has a date. This is from 2017, so it's probably new enough. Not all will say that that's new enough, but some of them no. will. And this is a very nice, like, current summer style. It just needs to be washed. Got the steam. Um, okay, Loft is one I see a lot of people selling. I oh don't God, think I would ever sell, sell it. Loft just ever. because anytime I look it up, the comps are so insanely low. I think because they just give it away. At the store. I know. Like, every time I've seen, gone into a loft, they're like, you buy one, we fill your car up with the rest of it. <laughs> Ooh. This is super cute. And it's it is so red, white, and blue, so, so it will be very 4th of July in season as well. Um, florals for spring and summer. Groundbreaking. Um, I don't know if the Loft has a date. Loft does not have a date. Loft also I don't know this. changed their label in six It years. does say Ann Taylor Loft. I don't know if newer ones don't. I don't know. But this, I would totally bring no consignment store and totally put on our second I posh. think the older ones say Loft by Ann Taylor instead of like Ann Taylor Loft. It's oh. like Loft by Ann Taylor. And some of them you can tell are very oh, old. Oh, you can just hold it up and you go. <laughs> so this is J. Crew. I would right now still get this for consignment store even though it's a sweater. Like look at how thin that is. You can see the light through it. Oh God, um, so it is like a spring sweater. This is the like not oldest or not newest, like second newest yeah. J. Crew outlet tag. I do obviously sell J. Crew myself, but this is a little too boring. A little boring, for me. but it's in good condition though. It's very soft, and it is from 2013. But I don't know. I could still see a consignment store taking that from me. Let's see. This is a brand that I didn't know, so it's 100% based on the style of it. <clears throat> it's like this strappy top, cold shoulders, and then it has these embroidered bell sleeves. Once again, if it's something really looks like though. it could be free people, but it isn't, Ooh, like. consignment stores will like them. It's blue, oh, blushing heart, which is just a boutique. But a consignment store would take this and I can see it selling for fifteen dollars. Yeah. So I, same situation. It looks like free people. It's. I think this brand is just TJ's CL USA, but it's so cute though. Yeah. Like oh my god. Love. Just like the boho stuff. Since boho is super in, consignment stores love okay, it. Hold on. This up. top is so difficult to hold up. So let me there go. are. I know I said that brands don't matter, but there are definitely mm. some brands that they do prefer. Like Plato's Closets really like. It's Berkshire, which is like another Zara, just bam, company. Um, this is just a little, I can't move it because if I do, it looks terrible. Um, it's just a little white crop top, you know, a little trendy, something the young kids wear when they can go back outside. Plato's Closets do really like Fashion Nova. They do Fair like 21, Forever 21. Charlotte Russe. Well, no, I don't think Charlotte Russe, maybe not anymore because they closed. She has been American out of Eagle. For a while. So there are brands they prefer, um, but they do still like size. Asterix with the American Eagle. They're not taking 2017 labels anymore. So check under where it says like the style and then it has the material tag with the size on it. Flip that up, the little day tag. Which some years might not be as strict, but for the most part, mine always was. Um, okay, this is American Eagle, 2XL, just a cute little brown, like cardigan. Yeah. Nothing crazy. This, they would totally take. This is, they always 
Plato's closets always need men. I love men. Men stuff. don't bring in oh stuff very God. often. So this is Target Goodfellow. I thought it was really cute. It is really cute. And Both yeah, pink t-shirt. Pink, pink is very spring. Obviously, it would do good. This we do put on on our second closet if you want to source from it ever we do put anthro that's not selling for us we put free people that's not selling for us there's a couple of coach bags um, right now. we got coach shoes um i just don't picture myself being able to sell this and the hem has like come undone but Same. i know someone may have the time to fix it they may not care yeah. and so i am putting this over there it is meadow rue still very it's spring cute, yeah there's debbie says meadows rue <laughs> i just don't want to sell that myself just a personal preference but it's cute Skirts are kind of having their moments. Skirts. And this is spring florals again. Skirts. It's this cute wrap tie skirt and it's Wild Fable Target. Wear with that Berkshire. Berks? Berkshire? Berk yeah, I don't know how to say it. Camo is always in. Another staple. This is a crop top and this is also Make Wild it. Fable. And consignment do know what's in. Like, they will know they can't. Oh, yeah. Well, no. Every, like, I think, like, season they send out what's called a trend report. And it's Google stock images that they have copied and pasted onto a Word doc and then printed. It was always funny. So this is the A New Day, if you didn't know. That's the word. That's the name of it. Some people don't know how to read it. But, like, this is very cute. It's this is, like, pretty. I think this is from 2019. So I think Target website might even still have it. But, Yeah. Very spring, even though it's darker colors, still very spring. So in with my second closet pile, I got a top for Janet and I set it aside and Mike just decided to go take a nap on it. <laughs> Mike, did you miss grandma? Once again, Old Navy would never really get for myself, but I get it for a second posh and for consignment stores, florals, always in. Dresses are in for the season as well. This brand I don't know and it's kids. It's so cute. But it's though. really cute and it can actually probably fit like an extra small or even small woman. It looks like that Cacique bra you just got. It's Star Print. And it is by a brand called Now. If any of you know what it is, please let me know. I tried to Google it and first it um, came up with Target, so I couldn't think of anything. Yeah, when you look up Now clothes, everything ever comes up. Because it's like, buy it now. Just in now. Like... This is Style & Co, which I believe is like Coles or Macy's. I think it's a Macy's, like little in-house. It's a plus there. size because it's zero X. But and it's a Johnny Wesnock. so off. cute. It's embroidered all over and it's velvet. It's like velveteen. It's pretty. Super, super cute. Simon Store would love it as well. Style & Co has a few hits. Every now and again, I find something from Style & Co that I'm impressed with. Oh, okay, so Fabletics. For some reason, I can only sell the leggings myself. And so I'm gonna put this on our second posh. It's super cute, cute and super mm -hmm. nice, but just, I don't have luck with Fabletics. Consignment stores love Fabletics. Very true. Um, another brand I would not do myself, but I'm okay with on the second posh. Ooh, and consignment stores like it, it's Maurice's. Oh, and it's this like sleeveless, almost kimono or like wrap. And it has on this front thing, it like has this that hangs in front of your arm and it has like a tassel. Hmm. Are you supposed to tie it? I'm not really sure. Mm. And last but not least, everyone likes some plus size because you don't always run into it. It's 22, 24 and it's size. Ashley Stewart. And it's this velvet it's peplum really thing. Like top. And it like has a like a choker. Print, kind of like printed in it. Yeah, like a built in choker. Cute. Cute. So that is all stuff that's going up on our second podge if you're interested. Yes. And it's also stuff that we would bring to consignment stores if they were open. Very accurate. So we will do more in-depth videos on yes. consignment store shopping and that stuff. We are also going to do... Consignment stores bring open. <laughs> yes. We're also going to do another 50 to 500 this summer. So in like two months. Yes. So yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this kind of different Saturday video. We just didn't have any sales because we were on vacation mode. We are on spring break. So yeah. Thank Sorry, you guys for watching this video. Thank you. And I hope you enjoyed it. And stay healthy and safe. Love you. Bye. Toodles.